Welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX, the K147 Revisit. It's finally time to go chase after Amy and Zero in the Mystic Ruins. Which, um, I just want to, you know, point out in question, like, how does Sonic know, um, to go to the Mystic Ruins? <laughs> well, then again, we're looking at a train system that only travels from, you know, Station Square to the Mystic Ruins. It's pretty lame, actually. This is coming from the girl who's being manhandled by a robot. That's twice the size of her. Oh, actually not even twice her size, probably like quadruple her size. Yeah! We're gonna have a nice little staring contest. Hey, what's happening here? Hmm. You know, like, I'm pretty sure the egg here is not that big to block out the sun. Like, you know, make it look like it's completely nighttime or something, you know? Yeah, yeah! You better give Amy back! Or, I like how Sonic didn't even jump in, into the tractor beam and try to save Amy. <laughs> Shoot! I lost her again! I think it should be more like, Darn! I lost the lead! Better speed up! Oh well, at least in this game you actually kind of move at a decent pace. Uh, actually, make, let me correct that. You move at a consistent pace. Ha ha ha. Oh my god. Oh man, I miss these days. Where you didn't have a max speed section. Where you didn't have to, you know. You know. Question why he didn't. Sonic doesn't move at this kind of speed throughout the whole freaking game. Yeah, I miss those days so much, actually. Alrighty, so. Here we go. The Ancient Light. Which, um. It, it, you know, personally, I never use this ability ever. The light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. Yeah, the light speed attack, but yeah, I never used it though. I, I just never liked it. It just didn't work for me ever. If only that monkey guard wasn't there. <laughs> if only that monkey guard wasn't there. So like, what? It has like an evil diabolical switch on it that likes to like. Oh man. Whoever designed this was a genius, you know, a genius, man. All you have to do is destroy this case and you can just go into Red Mountain with these. Genius. I gotta get brownie points, whoever thought up that idea. You get a raise. God, did you really need a cutscene of the egg carrier lifting off like that, did you? Oh, well, it's not better than Sonic 06. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. For a second there, I thought I died there. <laughs> oh, but once again, if, if I died, I would have edited it, you know, edited it out like a dick. <laughs> so you don't get to see my failures. I think in, like, the original run of Sonic Adventure, I barely died on that, so I didn't worry too much about editing, which, like, it wasn't until, like, Lost World, I think it was, that I started editing greatly. I think it was Lost World and Final Egg. Yeah, yeah, it was, actually. The, the editing, though, was kind of piss poor, though, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. But, um, what was I gonna say, though? Well, in like nowadays, um, when I do Sonic playthroughs, they're usually done in one take, like in one you know life, as I, I as I should say, you know Sonic levels at least. I mean, you do see me get hit though, but then I'll usually just like, you know, I'll I'll just edit out like the death and make it look like I get it on my first try every time. <laughs> but unfortunately, it won't work in stuff like Sonic, um, you know, like like in Sonic games, like Sonic Color, then Sonic Four, Episode One and Two. Where the lives um, don't restart every time you, um, you know, every time you um, restart a level. Like, you know, if I cock up some on something, I can just, you know, restart the level and act like nothing happened. As long as I don't get any, any one-ups, but, and this, and, um, like, the newer Sonic games, yeah, I don't know why they do that. Uh. I mean, sure, like, in Sonic Unleashed, yeah, they, they, um, you know, you restart. But then, like, after that, like, colors and generation. Actually, uh, no, no, generation, um, you know, did that. If you restart, they take a life. But, like, yeah, and, like, Sonic 4, episode 1 and 2, they took that out, too. Which, yeah, but, mm. Well, to be honest, do we really need, like, a life system anymore nowadays? I mean, like, I mean, if you lose all your lives, you just restart again. Uh, the life system is kind of redundant, in my honest opinion. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting nostalgic actually from the original run actually. 
in the original run, I said like, oh my, like, don't touch the lava, it burns, and like, I, I don't know why I said that, I was just so immature back then, I'm sorry. I hate to admit it, but it's true. I was like really immature like two years ago, I was just like, I was just saying like random shit that like, I'm sure no one actually remembers, because God knows I don't remember it. And you know, I, I can't watch those old like failures of me, like, like, uh, like, I can't even look back at my old videos, I really can't. I mean, occasionally I'll pop up Sonic 06 and be like, ah, yeah, yeah, I remember this, and then like, but then like, if I, if I try to watch Sonic Riders or Sonic Adventure, I'm just like, oh my god, I'm such an idiot! And like, yeah, well, I get that you learn from your experience, I guess. <laughs> well, actually, to time to talk about the level, finally, um, I love this, um, generic rap music that they use for the second half of Red Mountain. Uh, you know, I especially love the CD scratching and the Which, you know, w w what the heck, dude. It sounds like a dying cat or something. It sounds like my cat in the morning when she wants to eat. You know. Well, okay, I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit, but nah. <laughs> kind of does remind me of Lava Reef Zone, but nothing can compare to Lava Reef Zone. <laughs> yeah. What the heck were those things, like, back there, like, some wooden, like, white stick figure, the doom and despair. <laughs> yeah, see, right over, right over there to the right. What, what is that, dude? Like a cowboy or something. Cowboy Gumby. Gumby. <laughs> Gumby, dude. Yeah, exactly. It's Gumby, man. <laughs> I miss Gumby, actually. <laughs> like a boss. Oh, like a boss, man. <laughs> oh, but you know what? That was all totally by accident. I'm just gonna pretend that everything I do that's cool is an accident. Yes. Jeez. It's like I'm trying not to admit that I'm actually good at Sonic games. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Meh, not bad. Could be better. <laughs> I could have gotten 220 wings. I like how the shield's still consistent in the cutscene. I'm sure it had no relevance to it, but yeah. Oh, oh, hey, Tails, what's up? I like how they just casually just said, you know, yeah, exactly. They're just all like, oh my god, Tails, you're alive? Or like, you know, Sonic, you're alive or something? It's just, they're just casual, like, reading, you know? It's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, man. You know that one line um, that Sonic just said? I actually have that on, like, a little circular, um talk thing you you press the button and it actually said that same exact line it's really funny i don't have it with me right now though it's like it's at my dad's place in, in a vault in a vault where i keep all my goods <laughs> oh my god that's like it you know like when i say vault nowadays it reminds me of that family guy episode where you where peter griffin just had that stupid porn magazine just there just it, oh my god you installed a high class s rank security system just to hide one porn magazine from your wife god that is so freaking sad just hide it under your bed or like under your pillow or something god you know even with me i probably hide it on my computer <laughs> in a folder that says do not open or prepare to be dis disturbed <laughs> uh. but then again that makes it even more conspicuous <laughs> uh. yeah but you know it's someone of my status you know it's a pride that I'm actually kind of clean from that stuff, too. <laughs> the, the only thing I have to hide is this Rita Mordio do, do, like, um, Dojin that I downloaded on one time. Like, um, yeah, it, yeah, that's my shame right there. <laughs> it was Rita Mordio. I couldn't help it, man. Oh. God, this, this, yeah, once again, this is a 20-year-old fantasizing about trying to get, get with a 15-year-old. A 15-year-old a fictional character. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about Tales of Vesperia, but this is clearly Sonic Adventure. <laughs> well, it, well we're, we're doing the freaking sky chase again. I'm. Uh. Okay. Whoa! Yeah. I actually do like the. I'm not gonna lie, though. I kind of do like the um, second form of the tornado, though. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it looks cool though, but like, 
Mm. I, I, I don't know though. Personally, I think, um, I think the um, plane looks better red than blue. Uh, well, you know, it, it has to be blue because of Sonic. You know, ha ha ha, blue. <laughs> Feeling blue, ha 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 ha, yeah. What, what the heck are these bombs doing here? Why would Eggman install bombs on this thing? Bombs below his ship. <laughs> you know, bombs below his ship. I, I, why aren't we using them to blow up the egg carrier? Oh my god. God, see, I, it's not my fault I can think of bigger, better plot holes than Sega can. Ugh, Jesus, man. This kind of reminds me of Shadow the Hedgehog and, like, um... Um, the fourth stage where like it's like uh, Black Doom's um ruins or whatever versus Eggman's egg carriers. Jesus H man, that always bugged me that um in Sonic games nowadays, it, well uh, Sonic games back then actually, Eggman just has one you know fortress you know the egg carrier. But then like you go on to like Heroes and Sonic um Sonic Unleashed. So uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, he has a bunch of these things! Damn man, he must really work as robots, like, you know, like labor, like slaves. Uh, overtime, minimum wage. <laughs> wow, that was so sad. I mean, sure, I got hit by a missile, but, but seriously, the laser missed so hard. Oh, I missed. Yay. Okay, we can finally get to the egg carrier adventure field. Hooray. That's what she said. We gotta land on the egg carrier. Whoops. Uh, I forgot something. What's that? <laughs> There's no landing here in this mode. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> See, I, I miss Brian Drummond back in the day. I really do. Wow. That was so bad, like, the sound effect of them crashing, like, appeared a little bit too late before they actually landed. <laughs> Jeez, once again, I love this game, too. It's one of the greatest Sonic games in the history of the universe, but, like, there are still some problems with it that I still can't let go. You're right, my friend. So here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Now Sonic's feet are pan. Oh, that, all you need is a little bit of pixie dust. There! Now you can fly! Oh my Don't god. Too many ideas, you fools. You haven't seen the power this vessel really has. Oh yeah? Get a load of this. <laughs> oh man, I missed that line actually. <laughs> that little like thing, like little thing like that I can saw in a cutscene looked like a face. Like there were like two antennas and the and the glad thing looked like a big mouth. It looked like a giant face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I missed that too. Aw, to to oh, it's okay, Tails. <laughs> wow, that actually sounds like a challenge. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna solve this simple puzzle. And you know how I'm gonna do it? By moving up. This must be the way to the sky deck. <coughs> no shiz. 